The big news today is that Fernando Alonso is going to be leaving F1 at the end of this current season. Hey guys, welcome to today's video and I'm going to be talking about this news. Um, it's quite interesting, I've got a bit of a mixed feeling about it. You might know me for a previous video, I'll link it down below, where I talked about Fernando Alonso potentially being overrated as an F1 driver, but I do have to admit, it's a bit of a shame to see a legend go. Someone who's managed to be the youngest world champion, the youngest double world champion uh, in the sport since then those records have been surpassed by Sebastian Vettel, of course. But it's also a great opportunity to see someone new come in, potentially a new legend of the sport. The question is, what will happen to Alonso next? And probably more importantly for you guys, what's going to happen in the driver market for Formula 1 for 2019? So I'm going to start off with talk about Alonso's future. Now, he's still under contract with Toyota Gazoo Racing to race with them for the remainder of the WEC Super Season that ends at the middle of next year, the middle of 2019, with the Le Mans 24 hour. So he can easily see through to then with Toyota Gazoo Racing. He might look at returning to IndyCar. I know Andretti were recently saying that they were still looking at having him back in the car and they'd be delighted to have him there. He could even go into further business ventures with his own businesses, his own further teams like his cycling team or with his own karting team. He certainly has the money to do it. Or he could even look at something different altogether. There were rumours of him potentially looking at a rallycross. I remember he got involved with a conversation with the World Rallycross Twitter account involving other drivers like Alexander Wurtz and Jensen Button. But he could even pull a Kimi Raikkonen. I know he might be a bit old to do that in a couple of years time, but he could potentially even do, well, I've got the Triple Crown now. I want to go back to F1. Whether people would take him back might be a bit more of a debate, but that's enough word for another time. The big thing though is what happens to the F1 driver market because, well, it didn't really seem like it was so much of a sure deal that Alonso was going to be staying at McLaren for 2019. It seemed like either he was going to stay there, leave Ferrari, or leave the sport altogether. There were the odd rooms that he was going to go to Red Bull, but let's be honest, that was never really going to happen. It largely leaves Sainz all but confirmed to go to McLaren. It seemed quite fairy tale. The, uh, the guy who inspired him to go into F1, not the guy who inspired him into motorsport particularly, because you have to remember that Carlos Sainz's dad, also named Carlos Sainz, is El Matador, two time world rally champion. It would be fairy tale kind of thing for Sainz to go into that drive. It would hopefully be a bit solid as well, maybe with those new regulations coming in for Aero next year. Norris could also step in. I know this is a bit unlikely. Zach Brown was saying that it would be unlikely they were going to put a rookie into the car next year because they're not too certain about what the car is going to be like. But even then, both of these could happen. We could end up with a team that is Sainz and Van Dorn. Or we could end up with a Sainz and Norris combination or even a Norris and Van Dorn combination. It all depends on what happens over the course of the rest of this season, really. But of course, it is open to more outsiders. Now, a lot of this is revolving around what happens in regards to Mercedes and what happens with Force India, because with Lawrence Stroll looking to be buying out the team, uh, it all but confirms Lance Stroll going to Force India or whatever it's going to be renamed next season, which means it's most likely going to displace either Perez or Ocon. Now, Perez doesn't really have a great relationship with McLaren after the 2013 season, so it's unlikely that he'd end up moving to McLaren, but it could happen. Because remember, McLaren and Mercedes don't particularly have a great relationship after they severed engine ties at the end of the 2014 season. So it could easily be that one of the uh, Force India guys might end up at McLaren if they don't end up at Williams. Again, that would depend on what Mercedes do in regards to their relationships with Williams. They seem to be strengthening some kind of technical ties. And also what happens in regards to Robert Kubica, because there's still the chance that he might return to F1 with Williams. Maybe even, th th this might be a long shot, but it could be a chance for a Renault junior driver to step into the fray and go, well, I want to drive for a team, and this is a Renault powered car, why not put me in here? And that could potentially be Jack Aitken. He's been doing quite well with GP2 this season, and to be honest, I wouldn't be that surprised at the moment. 
So like I said, this this is where we start to get into a bit of a silly season. Um, the big players in this are going to be Williams and Mercedes. Because if Mercedes decide to use Williams as their kind of main customer team, because for the last few seasons it seemed like Force India was the strong customer team with Ocon being there, for example, Mercedes junior driver. But if Mercedes think, well, we're going to try and get George Russell into the sport, but we want to keep Ocon in the sport, we could easily see Ocon in the McLaren, or we could see Ocon maybe even move into Williams, or maybe even out the sport altogether at Ala Pascal Fairline, and George Russell going into one of these seats. I'll do a big breakdown for the sunny season at some other point, but right now, uh, <laughs> what else can I really say? I guess a kind of thank you to Fernando Alonso. He did his Dear F1 video, which was, it kind of brought a tear to my eye um, when I watched it earlier. But thanks for the memories. Thanks for being such an inspiring driver. And all the best. Hope we see some more amazing memories created towards the end of the season. I hope you guys will stick around too. I've been working on a video on Lewis Hamilton for a while now. It's just been being upset by all of these different driver rumours and big deals regarding like Alonso and Ricardo. And I'm also working on some stuff about the driver market. So if you subscribe down below, you'll be able to keep in touch and see when I do release those videos. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching. I hope to hear some kind of feedback for this. So if you want to get a debate to start in the comments down below, that would be amazing. I hope to see you around soon. Bye-bye.